Burkina Faso's national television has broadcasted what it says is the first evidence of a destabilization plot announced by the authorities last week. The evidence includes a video of a former Special Forces chief, Ahmad Kinda, confessing to leading an operation against the current government. Kinda revealed that the mercenaries had been recruited through the journalist Barry Abdullah using Central Africans. He requested a contingent of 150 men armed with AK-47s and other heavy weapons. The operation was financially supported by Abdullah, who paid 80 million francs a fee, about $136,000, to connect with mercenaries in Niger. Kinder noted that complications arose when two operatives were arrested in Niger, complicating the mission. He had been in contact with the exiled former transitional president, Paul Henry Sandaugo Dameba, and others about carrying out the operation. On September 23, 2024, the Bukinabe Security Minister Mahamadou Sana condemned the destabilization efforts and linked them to former officials, including Damiba and others. The plan reportedly involved the infiltration of terrorist groups, with the first group of 150 terrorists to act from August 29, 2024. Burkina Faso has experienced two coups in the last three years, the first of which ousted President Roch Macri Sankabore in January 2022 followed by Damimba's ouster in September 2022, which led to Ibrahim Traoré taking power and ushered in a transitional period, the duration of which was extended by five years from July 2, 2024.